Hi, I'm George, and these are my five favorite Photoshop Elements add-ons. My first favorite is adding in new fonts, and my favorite site for that is thefont.com. Real easy here to search for fonts. As you can see, we have different categories. Once you get into a category like decorative right here, on the right-hand side, you'll see what is used for over here. You can download. You can also donate to the author right here. If you click on the lettering itself, this takes you onto the lettering page, and you can then see all the different versions of that lettering right down here. Very easy to do. Now, if you're not sure about how to install a font on your system, it's real easy. Just click on the defont.com icon right there, and here's how to install fonts. There's a bit more information right in here if you want that, but it's real easy to do. And then once this installed on your system, it will then show up inside of Photoshop Elements. Just make sure that you install the font with Photoshop Elements closed because it reads the font list each time it opens up. Okay, my second favorite Photoshop Elements add-on is a plugin. And one that I like the best up here is Elements Plus, mostly because it's the least expensive. It's only about $12. I mean, it's very cheap. You can see here there's different versions for each of the different versions of Photoshop Elements. Big long list of what this thing does, but basically it goes in and adds back in a lot of options and tools that are in the larger Photoshop program that are actually hidden inside of Photoshop Elements. There's just no way to access them. They're kind of in the background someplace. And this program brings them out into the foreground. Let me bring up Photoshop Elements and I'll show you what I mean. Here we go. And they install it into the effects right over here and a whole bunch of sections. Color and tone selections, layers, masks, smart objects, all the way down to data-driven graphics. And these really bring a lot of increased capabilities in your program, such as being able to use curves like this, something which you can do inside of Photoshop, but you don't have the curves tool inside of Elements, but here it is. It actually is in Elements, it's just hidden, and this tool brings it up so you can then adjust your image using curves, which is a great way to get really nice control over an image. Now, again, I mentioned that this has different versions for each version of Elements. If you upgrade elements each year, you'll also have to repurchase this each year. But the cost is so low, it's really worth doing that. Okay, switch back over to the browser. Here we go. And my next favorite Photoshop Elements add-on is using the Adobe Color Wheel. Now, this is online, but this is a tool which is included inside of Adobe Photoshop, but it's not inside of Photoshop Elements. It's a great way to come in and find color schemes. Real easy to use. You can actually just move this thing around and find different colors. There are different ways of looking at color as well. Over here, left hand side, here's monochromatic, for instance. Here's a triad of colors. Here's complementary colors, split complementary, double split. So lots of ways of looking at colors and creating color schemes. Once you have that done, and if you're signed into your Adobe account, which you already have because you have Elements, then click on Save. It will then save that into your library. You can then take a look at your library. I have mine right there. Here's the library, and in here you can download any of these color sets right here, and it downloads as a JPEG image. You can then open up that JPEG inside of Photoshop Elements and then easily grab those colors using the eyedropper. It's a great way to have a real nice, easy to use tool to create different color themes. And you'll find this up here at color.adobe.com. I'll put this link and all the rest of these links, of course, in the description as well. So you can go right to those just by clicking on those links. Now the next thing I like to do a lot when I'm working in Photoshop Elements, my next favorite Photoshop Elements add-on is to bring in new brush sets. You find those over here. A great place is to go on to DeviantArt. I'll just go onto the home page right here. Here we go, DeviantArt, and then do a search up here for Photoshop brushes. These work in Photoshop and Photoshop Elements, and lots of these brushes are available. Some of these brushes have a cost to them. Some of these brushes are free. These are all made by individuals. These aren't companies. So just scroll through, find the brushes that you like, and then see if there's a cost to it or not. Download it. If there is a cost, I recommend definitely paying for that. It helps out these artists to make more of these great things, more of these brushes like this. And that really helps to expand all of our abilities. Let me show you how you can load in one of these brush sets over inside of Photoshop Elements. Here we go. Just select the brush tool. Come down here, click on that little triangle right here, and then that little icon right there. And then down here, you can load brushes. Of course, you'll have to have already downloaded your brush set onto your computer to do this, but that's the easy part. They normally come down as a zip file, then just unzip that, and you should find an ABR file in there, and that stands for Adobe Brush. Let me show you how that's done, load brushes. Now, it's taking me into the brushes preset section here, so you need to navigate back to where your brushes are. Let me go ahead and I'll just jump back to where they are. 
I keep all of my brushes in a folder that I just named Photoshop Brushes. You can place them anywhere you want to on your computer. And notice that these all have that ABR extension, ABR format, and then simply click on it and choose Load. Let me just Urban Floral Brushes right here. Choose Load. It then loads in that brush set. There we go. All kinds of interesting brushes in here. Notice that some of these are just more of a stamp as opposed to a brush. You can see if I just stamp it on there, there's what that looks like. And the last Photoshop Elements add-on that I like using is clip art and stock photography sites. One of my favorites here is Pixabay. Great site. Now, normally you think of this stuff as just being photographs that you're using in your projects. So it's not really like an add-on, but let's go back over to Elements just for a moment here. And if I go over here to Graphics, we have these backgrounds and graphics in here and shapes, lots of stuff, but mostly the backgrounds and the graphics in here. There's a limited set of options to choose from. I've used a lot of these in my projects, but even with that, it's still a little bit limited, but we can expand that by using clip art and also stock photography sites if we do the right kind of search. Let's go back now to that Pixabay site. Here we go. In here we have different ways of searching for photos, vector graphics or illustrations. Illustrations is gonna be your graphics, your clip art. Let's just do a look in here for Apple. Something real easy. And here we go. Now the top ones up here, these are sponsored links here from iStock. But everything else down below here, these are all free graphics. And you can go ahead and then use those right in your projects. Let's say you wanted to do backgrounds. That's also an easy one. I'm gonna change this here to photos. And let's just change the search to patterns. Here's a bunch of great backgrounds that you can use, which will really expand the choice of backgrounds you have, because again, it's a little bit limited inside of Photoshop Elements. This will then give you practically unlimited options for different backgrounds. So again, using one of these clip art sites or a stock photography site like this one really can extend what's already in Photoshop Elements by giving you more options to choose from. So there you go. Those are my five favorite Photoshop Elements add-ons that I use all the time.